Before we had IMDb, we had Cinemania. This wicked little CD-ROM has film reviews, video clips, and a little recommendation engine that will help you choose your next film. Cinemania was a, was a series of CD-ROMs which came out in the early to mid-1990s. It was really just about giving film buffs a, an interactive encyclopedia of film knowledge that they could, you know, explore their own interests, find films that they liked, find films that they had not heard of before, and really just help them gather more information about cinema. Cinemania 96 combines 2,000 reviews from the 1996 edition of Roger Ebert's Video Companion. It also has 3,000 reviews from Pauline Kael's 5001 Nights at the Movies. It has 20,000 reviews from Leonard Maltin's Movie and Video Guide 1996 and 9,000 cast and crew listings from Cinebook's Motion Picture Guide. These numbers seem a little bit humble now compared to the vast wealth of information that we have on the internet, but this was really something special in the late 1990s. And I think that Cinemania was essentially the IMDB of the pre-internet world. Pop the CD in the tray and you don't even need to install it. It runs straight off the disc. So you fire it up and you've got one of six options. Let's just jump straight into find your favourites. This is basically that big list I told you about. Some 20,000 films plus about 5,000 people. It's initially just too much to scroll through film by film. So let's just go over here and have a quick look. We've got some filters over here. Immediately my favourite bit is you can... <laughs> you can filter by which films are on video cassette or laser disc. Oh! Oh, it's so cute and then you can filter down into things which are perhaps a little more agreeable like you could do the MPAA rating or you could do the actual score so I don't know show me all the ones which Roger Ebert rated as four stars or above huh, not a bad list mm, yeah oh oh well he's right about that one going into a film you immediately get the sense that Cinemania is built out like an early example of a wiki some films will have different reviews by different people, and most of them have got hyperlinks in blue, so you can find yourself rabbit holing. Okay, let's start again. Let's go back to the beginning, and this time I want to search by year. Obviously, this CD-ROM is time boxed to 1996, so it's going to be missing any films since then. But let's have a look at the most cutting edge films from 1995 to 1996. Oh, absolute banger yes 100% we're clicking on this oh oh my god i love this yes super good oh look let's have a quick look at rene oh there he is oh i love it i like how on all the individual film listings you get basic facts like um, runtime the rating whether or not it's in color some of the films will also list if they're on home videotape or laser disc your big Hollywood blockbusters have got tons of info, but even smaller films, there's a surprising amount of information. Some of the hyperlinks will activate a modal, like a little tooltip will come up, which will give you a little bit of information. Sometimes this is about like a specific term, and then sometimes this will then link out to whole articles. And in the case here of Dolores Claiborne, it will even link out to the author who wrote the book that the film was based on. Oh, look at Steve. Uh, you can search by text as well, so you can search for people or films, <laughs> obviously. Jeff? Yes, mate. There he is. Just this alone is so easy for me just to get lost going through all the classics. I looked up Star Wars, obviously, and there is a huge amount of information on here. We've got multiple reviews from all of the contributing authors. There's a full cast and credits list. There's even a list of the awards that it won. There's an outline of the story. There's behind the scenes articles. There's little factoids, audio, video clips. It just keeps going. I would have just poured over this as a kid. I used to love all these kind of CD-ROMs. This is pretty much how I learned about stuff before the internet came along and replaced it. To be clear, I managed to convince my parents to get dial-up internet in the early 90s. We were one of the first families on my street to get the internet, but the early internet just did not have stuff like this. The idea of an interconnected database with 20,000 films, with descriptions of who's in it, who made it, articles on all those individuals, that just 
didn't exist. You might have got a web page with information about one film, but video clips? That was a pipe dream. Even trying to load a web page with more than two or three images took a ridiculously long time. CD-ROMs really were faster, bigger and better for a really, really long time. See, hear and watch. This is the multimedia stuff. This is the power of the CD-ROM. Cinemania was using the CD-ROM to deliver as much cutting edge content as it could for the mid 90s. Cinemania 96 has two and a half thousand photos, 180 audio clips divided between music and dialogue clips, and even 23 short video clips from 80 years of cinema. We've got all the classics in here, Butch and Sundance, Gone with the Wind, The Godfather, and Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. All of this stuff has to be crammed onto a single 700 megabyte CD-ROM. There's no install program, so it doesn't unpack. 700 meg is the limit. And despite that, somebody still made the case as to how they needed this clip from Priscilla Queen of the Desert to make the cut. There's just so much yes here. Going through and listening to all the music clips, obviously absolutely brilliant. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, yes. Oh, okay, okay. I'll have to be careful. I don't want to get content ID'd. I was quite surprised at how much horror content there was on here. Now I can picture me as a nine-year-old clicking through this, watching these video clips, reading all about the films. Um, so then I could go to school the next day and show off to all the kids and pretend I'd actually seen these films. List maker. I think is the coolest thing. I love this idea. The idea that you can build out your own list of films. Maybe you wanna make a, a list of cool sci-fi films that you haven't seen yet. Or maybe you wanna make a list of your own recommendations which you can share with your mates. The back of the box says that you can print these lists out and then you can take them to the video store. I mean, yes, that's a really good idea, but it's just so cute. I, I'm, I don't know if you can hear, but I've just got the biggest grin ever. All right, let's do this. Let's use this and we'll make a list of stoked, spooky recommendations. Oh my God, yes. Oh, yes, banger, add it. Yep, there we go. Yep, get it on. Now look at that. Now that is a list of films. Wait, wasn't there some guy on YouTube who recently said there weren't any good 90s horror films? Who was that? Yeah, I don't remember. Couldn't have been that important. Aside from all the reviews and all the media, there's also a ton of articles in here. I found some pretty wild facts from clicking around in this bit. For instance, did you know that when cinemas still used film projectors, it was the projectionist's job to make sure the film was cropped in right? I didn't know that. Also, according to Roger Ebert, popcorn has eight times more fat than a quarter pound of a cheese. I looked this up and it isn't true now. I'm not calling Roger Ebert a liar. I'm just wondering what the hell was being put into 90s cinema popcorn. I'm saving the best for last here because Find a Film is by far the best feature on this CD-ROM. It's so good. Over on the right hand side of this little roulette wheel widget, there's a list of some top level categories, I guess you'd call them. If you select one of them, it then gives you this little drop down in the middle, which has then got some more in depth, more nuanced subcategories. This is super dense, surprisingly so. You can do horror films, then creature features, but you can do special interest stuff, gay and lesbian films. And that terminology is slightly problematic, but overall, I think it's pretty great how the creators of this CD-ROM went through all 20,000 films and have tagged them with multiple categories and subcategories so that this would work so well. Roger Ebert's Hidden Gems, now we're talking. Oh, Tampopo. The way that Cinemania presents this little feature is a way for you to find a film to rent, which is obviously adorable because it's talking about going to a video rental store. But if this came out now, this would be a really good app to have on your phone to like find something to find on Netflix or whatever. I'm finding it hard to articulate what I think is so cool about this, but I think ultimately it's the fact that it just feels so relevant. This would still work now. You could just release this bit as a phone app and I think that would be awesome. 
Uh, you can probably tell, I think that this is such a great little tool. Looking at it through the lens of it being a product from 1996, I think this would have been absolutely wicked in the day. Reading up on films, creating watch lists, finding recos for things to watch. 30 years later, film is still a completely relevant pastime. People still do all of these things today. All these years later, Cinemania just has this really chill vibe. It still fills me with glee to sit here and click through this stuff. I've lost myself for several days while making this video, just clicking through, looking at films, making lists for myself, looking at films that I already knew I liked, or checking out films that I still haven't seen, just to see what reviewers thought about it 30 years ago. And honestly, that little recommendation engine, that's just straight up genius. I love it. As this was the early days of the internet, Cinemania did actually offer internet connectivity. So if you had an MSN account, you could log in every month and you could connect up to the database, download new reviews, and you could even chat to people about films on the MSN forums. Oh, early internet, I miss you. Now, obviously the internet would eventually overtake CD-ROMs entirely, especially as broadband was introduced and higher internet speeds then meant you could download more information, you could download it faster. Eventually the CD-ROM would be rendered pretty moot and even the DVD would be rendered obsolete shortly after that. It's the same story with a lot of the CD-ROM encyclopedias from the same time. Objectively, of course, nowadays it's better. We have more information at our fingertips, it's easier to find, and I can do it on my phone while I take a poo. But despite all that, I find something so cosy about these old CD-ROMs. And I guess I'm always amazed at what clever people are able to do with the limitations of the day. The version of Cinemania 96 that you see me playing with here is from my own personal big box CD-ROM copy. I have ripped an ISO of this disc and I've uploaded it to archive.org. I genuinely believe that this absolutely deserves to be enjoyed as a real time capsule. I hope you've had half as good a time as I have had clicking through Cinemania today, and I hope that you got some enjoyment from watching this video. If you like old PC stuff, then I have loads more of it up on the channel. If you like weird stuff from the 90s and 2000s, then that's pretty much what I do around here, so give me a subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Alright everyone, cheers, ta-da.